Hey you Polish people, what's going on? It's your girl the Polish Lady and I'm here with my guy Sly, aka Keith Baker. And <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm so blessed that I get to interview you because Man. I just be feeling like, oh my god, this is a multimedia talented, <laughs> owning multiple businesses and you know what I'm saying? And congratulations on getting your new home. Thank you. I just you, gotta thanks, shout thanks, that out thanks, too, you know what I'm saying? That. Um, so just talk to us about like where you got your start in media. Uh my start in media. I guess it was a while back, um I started with media kinda when I was hanging around um his screw face, shout out to his screw face. Um, I was really just around, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like uh, going up to the studio, I was always inspired by their music. I can say their music, I mean his music, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying there because he was a part of a group called the MCGs that's like pioneers in the Gary, Indiana hip hop scene, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I kind of like gravitated to him from and then I mean, he was in Indianapolis, I was in Indianapolis, and my cousin was coming around, so I started hanging around, and I was recording stuff with my camera phone, like, I was bouncing around, hey. uh, recording shows, all kind of little stuff, you know what I'm saying, um, this dude named Capone TV, uh, shout out to Capone, um, he was talking about putting a TV show together, you know what I'm saying, so we was kind of doing that at the time, back then, I ain't had no knowledge about camera stuff, so... I just started elevating from there, and while I was there, um, this guy named Tommy Small, he was actually like doing music videos, doing movies, like all kind of stuff. So the stuff I really, really wanted to do. So I was looking at him, and I aspired to do the stuff that he did. And then from there, I just kind of took steps to to get there. Wow. It was a long road, but I'm here now. So <laughs> how long have you been doing media? All things media. All things media, like for real, for real. Yeah. Does this art count? Yeah. All right, so since I was in the ninth grade, well, since I was born, really. Like, I've been drawing. <laughs> no, for real. Drawing? Yeah, okay. like okay, drawing and stuff that. like that. Okay. I've been like drawing. Uh, I went to an art school, uh, Emerson. Um, so I did art, like I could paint, I can do like abstract art, I can cut glass, all that. So I need to tap back in on all that. But, yeah, I can do all that. Um, so that's where my artistic stuff just came from. Spike Lee, watching Spike Lee movies and stuff like that. Um, music videos. So when, when did you actually know, like, this is something you wanted to pursue full time? Full like, what time. was the moment that just hit you and it was like, okay, this got to be it for me? The moment that it hit me that I want to do it for me. That's a good question. <laughs> um, the moment that hit that I knew I wanted to do it full time is I, around that time I was hanging out with hitting them. Like I was seeing, I was seeing people do music videos. You know what I'm saying? And that really, really piqued my interest because I always wanted to rap, but rapping wasn't. Like, I, I could do it. Don't even, don't, don't do me like that. Okay, I we might catch that feature at the I end might, of this. I might catch that. I got it for you. Uh, but for real, for real. Um, like just seeing the music videos, and I seen um, who music video was it? Uh, Al Colion, he got his uh, music video shot by uh, Nick Brzezinski. I think I'm pronouncing your name right, bro. If I'm not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, Nick Brzezinski, he um, he dope. Like check him out, y'all. Check Nick Brzezinski out. Check hopefully, Nick out. Hopefully, I'm saying his name right so y'all can catch it and spell it on y'all own. But um. But check Al Colleone out. All his videos are shot by him anyway. So he just had these cinematic videos. And like my vision was always like movie cinematic. And it, it just like grabbed a hold of me. And I always tried to shoot like that. So that's what made me like want to do it like for sure. So you would consider like most of your favorite work to be cinematic? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, myself, I'm learning in the media field, so playing with cameras yeah. and editing and things of that nature. So I really think it's dope that you can, you know, dibble and dabble in between the lines. That's what's up. Um, so also, like, talk to us about when you started, like, graphics and all the rest of that stuff. Because, because I mean, how long did it take you to master that skill? You feel like you mastered that skill yet? I don't even feel like, I really don't feel like I mastered it. Like, 
I really don't feel like it's no mastering graphics, to be honest with you, because it's like it's always some extra, like it's always an extra step. Like as long as you're good at it and it look cool, like it's different kind, of like corporate type of graphics, and you got like uh, music uh, covers and all that stuff. So it's like it's really no mastering. It's all like what you see and what you portray, because it's all art. You know what I'm saying? So if you do something dope as hell, it might be a dot. On, you know what I'm saying? A white background with a with a yellow dot, okay. with a yellow dot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that might be like a million dollar painting or something like that. It is, it all, it's all up to interpretation. So I don't think mastering it is a thing. I think it's just being a master of yourself and your and your skill and what you see. You know what I mean? So you also just started um, your own business another company yeah. under fly heavy media stay with me you guys <laughs> <laughs> baker and state photography talk to us about like how long you've been doing it so far what is the best part working with um you know different realtors and things of that nature what are you really enjoying about this um number one like i love doing real estate photography like outside of anything else i love to be creative and all that stuff i could do that for free you know what I'm saying? Uh, getting paid to do real estate photography is like the best thing that ever happened. You know what I mean? It take me away from the music scene. It take me away from, cause, you know, the addiction and all that stuff I went through with all that. It all kind of landed in that scene. So now I got something where I'm by it's myself. Yeah, it's a clean environment. I'm by myself. I go in the house. I get the job done. I don't have to really be around nobody. And I go home. You know what I'm saying? So. That's kind of like, like that was like the goal as far as like the videography or photography job I would ever, you know what I'm saying, look for. It. That's the goal, like to be at peace with what I'm doing and to be paid and doing what I love at the same time. That's super, super dope. So like, last question, I'm, I ain't gonna drill you too much, mm -hmm. but just like, what's some advice that you wanna give out there to people who look into get into owning their own business, mm -hmm. one, and then two, like just, all things media. Um, advice I give to people: Number one, uh, know yourself. Um, make sure you're comfortable with what you're doing, um, and make sure you love what you're doing. That you would do what you're doing for free, because sometimes you're gonna have to do that to get to where you are. So, uh, advice on the business part: uh, free. Make sure y'all giving something out for free. Like do some free work. I did a lot of so much free work before I got to the paid stage, you know what I'm saying? People are always talking about, don't give yourself, bro. like value yourself, yes, value yourself. But know that there's value in your work. So knowing that there's value in your work is also giving it away for free. Cause you know there's value there and they gonna come back, you know what I'm saying? So if your work good and you giving it away for free, you know they gonna come back. <laughs> if you just doing something and giving it away for free and it ain't good, you know they are not coming back. So you don't really value it. That's why a lot of people try to charge y'all top so they can get a little money and then, you know what I'm saying? Get out of the yeah, just get some money real quick and then keep it moving. But that's not how it goes. Like, for longevity, you're going to have to start giving away something free. But as far as other things in business, uh, make sure you get your LLC. Make sure after you get your LLC, which is, you can go to biz, ND, I -N, dot biz. Dot biz dot gov. Right. right, you right. I, I N dot biz. That's dot for Indiana, y'all. Yeah, that's for Indiana. But your state or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Look up that information, whatever the dot gov is. Go there. It's step by step. They take you step by step. Um, I paid 90, 94 or ninety seven dollars or something like that. It might fluctuate. Uh, as soon as you do that, you gonna get your stuff. Uh, go straight to the E I N. You go to I R S for your E I N. Yep. Don't forget that part. <laughs> Go to IRS for your EIN, it's free. You're gonna get it in minutes. Um, then after that, make sure you get some marketing material, pick your colors. Wait, go back. Why is it important to get your LLC? Why is it important? It's important. Register? It's important to register your business, number one, so you can get loans, grants, all that. Like you need funding for your business, number one. And you because gotta pay taxes. Ain't cheap. <laughs> you have to pay your taxes. <laughs> you better pay your taxes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uncle Sam comes get for you. For sure, they will come get you. <laughs> So make sure you're paying your taxes. Like, you want to be legit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the goal, right? To be legit and be able to get that money coming back in. So to get that money coming in, you can apply for loans, you can apply for grants and stuff like that. You have to get a business.
Get your LLC. Get your EIN. Get your business account. Get your colors for your business. Come up with your vision, your mission statement, your vision statement. Come up with uh, uh, your marketing plan, like what the visuals you want to look like. Uh, make a website. Uh, come to me for your logo. Or go to Rich Hastings, my dog. Go to him for your logo, because I'm really kind of focusing more on my real estate photography. So I kind of like the media Isn't stuff. It? Yeah, I'm trying to put it all in in one spot. But I still dip with that one, but I, I I make sure I work with other people that, that do the same, that can uh, give y'all the same quality or better, you know what I'm saying? So. And I totally just want to add in there that I totally respect the fact that you didn't threw out so many names, shouted out so many people, but you also share that same love around your community. So, like, thank you for even doing this interview. No, nah, man. It's going to make me teary-eyed under tripping. these glasses, but I'm not tripping. going there. <laughs> I'm happy to be able to do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you doing your thing popping um if you ain't paying ah, if you ain't paying attention if you ain't paying attention pay attention because i'm definitely like I, i'm i'm 1000 percent sure that the polish lady is gonna be the go-to person for y'all interviews so if y'all ain't getting in now you know what i'm saying it make sure y'all y'all get in later but later is probably gonna be like later later because she's gonna have something to keep in front of y'all I'm working on packages now, people. She's working on packages right now. You know what I'm saying? So um, make sure y'all connect with her for real, for real. But Thanks also, please tell them how they can follow you and support your business. You <laughs> can follow me at uh, Baker Estate Photography on Instagram and Facebook. It's at Baker Estate Photography. Spelled regular. Um, at Fly Heavy Media on Instagram and Facebook at fly heavy media um it's all spelled regular too um also make sure y'all follow the lab uh follow Shout the lab, the lab. we lab preps or film <laughs> or sure. whatever you want to call it hey <laughs> whoa however y'all do that i'm too old for that uh <laughs> so um follow at the lab indie um on instagram and on facebook uh the lab indie easy like it's all simple you know what i'm saying and i appreciate everybody who follows me and if you refer anybody to my photography uh estate photography business uh i'll give you 25 dollars okay you didn't got the exclusive yes. it just it yes. just dropped right here you're For gonna sure. get 25 dollars off your make sure they let you know that you know what i'm saying that like, you, so if you send that me he knows people, that you were the person yes. who recommended yo his next client how about that and that's that's all for this month right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? August. So August. Make sure you send them to me, and make sure they know that you, to tell me that you sent me, so I can send you some gas, some money for y'all food, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So. That's love. Yeah. Okay, polished people. That was a wrap. I would like to say, stay polished. And